Hey there, Bad Uncle News fans. I'm standing here with the winner, Julian Lane. How are you feeling tonight, buddy? I feel amazing. I feel great. I'm blessed, you know. Couldn't, uh, couldn't even explain it right now. I'm just blessed. I've been away from my kids for four months, and my, my four daughters back home, and I just, I'm just so thankful for this win and this opportunity. I think you need to say their names so they don't feel like you're not forgetting them, right? Yes, ma'am. Brooklyn, Liana, Paisley, and Marie. I love all you girls. I know you're back home watching. They loves you. We're going to Disney World. Oh, can I come too? Absolutely. <laughs> all right, we're going to go back to the most important parts of the fight. Do you feel like you stuck to your game plan then? Absolutely. Uh, the goal was to fight smart. In my head, I wanted to go in there and get an 11-second knockout. I was saying, I'm going to knock him out in 11 seconds. But, you know, I got the knockdown early in the first, but he came back strong. He's a tough guy. He kept pushing forward. So I realized that it's going to be a, might be a, a little bit longer than I expected. But you dropped him two times in the fight. Yes. Um, I think one time was uh, over, a right overhand and then an uppercut, I think. But it might have, I don't know. But, yeah, two knockdowns. I knew that sealed the win right there because he wasn't getting the knockdown on me. So we just kept fighting smart the rest of the fight and got the W. Did you prepare any differently for Jake than you normally do? Yeah, I actually trained this time <laughs> for my fight. Um, I've been training down in Clearwater, Florida at MJM Muay Thai with my coach, Matt McCusser, and uh, all my training partners, man, Henry Blake, J.R. Ridge, uh, all my boys, man, Ryan, Big Bang, yeah, Daddy. Uh, you know, shout out to all my sponsors, um, Tiger Life Energy, Florida Hemp Collective, uh, Team Reaper, Lowe's Commercial Painting, and uh, shout out to uh, everybody back home in Mansfield, Ohio, man. Mom, Dad, love all you guys. Make sure I ain't forget nobody else. Yeah, so <laughs> shout out to Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, and uh, I can't wait for the next one. Hopefully they bring me back July 23rd. That's the goal. That's That was what I wanted because that's, that's where I'm at. I'm in Tampa, so let's go. Run it back. Julian, I can't wait for that fight, July 23rd in Tampa. I want to see you fight again. You know, fight fans, I think it's important for us to help you understand what exactly happened at the press conference yesterday, because it was all over the media, and I feel like Julian needs to tell you exactly what happened, and I'm going to ask him right now. So, Julian, you felt disrespected, did you not? Absolutely. You know, I didn't, I didn't get in the floor uh, until – I didn't get into Miami until – yesterday for Wayans and uh, Jake was up there on Thursday sitting at the press conference getting a little uh, keyboard happy and talking some smack you know he's saying um, how he wants to look into my soul he can't wait to beat my ass and stuff like that so I'm like okay when you see me man keep that energy I get up to Wayans he just walked past me he don't say a word he thinks everything's cool and I'm like man when you put two dogs Head to head, they start to bark, man. And something ain't right if a dog ain't barking, man. You know? So, you know, like like the lion that I am, I approached him, and he wanted no parts of it. You know, he wanted no parts of any of, anything to do with me. You know, I could see he was scared. You know, so at the weigh I walked up. You know, we usually get a nice little face off head to head, and he's fucking smacking me in my face. So, you know what I mean? So today, hey, I got him back. Props to you, because as we roll this videotape, you and Jake did share a nice moment at the end of the fight. Absolutely, man. At the end of the day, I got to respect anybody who steps in that ring, steps in any type of fight. You know, respect to all fighters and to all the fans and the haters. You know what I mean? Because without all of us, this shit could have happened, you know. We couldn't put on a great show like we did tonight. You know, shout out to Jake. You know, he's a tough warrior. Uh, I know he smacked me yesterday at Wayans, but that, that, that smack made it, made, the, made it ten times better than what it could have been. You know, that shit was boring until <laughs> Let Me Bang got out there. And you are so right, because you are always ready to let me bang, bro. Before we go today, Julian Lane, again, congratulations. And is there anything else you would like to add, sir? Yeah, I just want to say I love my mom. I love my dad. Everybody back home, my four daughters, Brooklyn, Liana, Paisley, Marie. Uh, their mom, Brooke, uh, Marie's mom, Kayla, you know, everybody, all my family back home in Mansfield watching, the, they watched me fight tonight and that supports me. I got a strong support system, all my coaches and training partners, MJ and Muay Thai, like I said, 
hey, I couldn't be more blessed than I am. And I thank God mostly. All glory to God. All right, Julian, thank you so much for taking the time yeah. to speak with me. I can't wait to hey. see you fight again. Well, welcome to the Let Me Bang show, everybody. Well, you heard it at first, folks. The Let Me Bang show for sure. I'm Susan Singori for Bare Knuckle News. And remember, no one beats us to the punch.